it feels <clears throat> really as a reward being here after a month because I've got a new member of my family and it totally knocked me off and I needed uh, these four weeks to get used to it, to him. And uh, now that I'm finally here, I am both happy and tired because being happy is energy intensive job, I think. I don't know, maybe you have a different experience, but what really helped me through this past month was focusing on small things, details, beautiful details that are always there and I can maybe get energized by watching them and feeling grateful. I don't know, it's just a small thing to share. Um, okay. Hockey, hockey, now you're good, yes, perfect, thank you. He seems to be really comfy in his walking pack. I less so. He is a little kitten, but he has two kilograms, so yeah, it's an exercise for me.
sometimes it's most difficult to be somewhere beautiful because the beauty offsets inner darkness and ugliness. So it's not surprising then that when I'm somewhere as beautiful as this, I might go through some shadow work. It's always surprising to me, even after all those years, that healing uh, is often very painful. I keep thinking about healing as a relief, a release, but before that happens, there is the facing of inner demons, a darkness that is not bad per se, just painful. Some of my demons are, and maybe you know them too, feeling of worthlessness, disconnection, disconnection, feeling disconnected. Um, lack of meaning, like nothing makes sense, nothing has any meaning, um, nothing really matters, but at the same time it does matter that it doesn't matter, so it's painful to experience it. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Of course, there are some others stemming from the previous ones, like feeling I have nothing to say, I should stop trying, like, yeah, nothing makes sense. But the feeling of disconnection is, I believe, the basis of it all. So then witnessing all this splendor reminds me I am part of it. You are part of it. We are part of it.